Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor Theme Builder video series. In the previous videos, we learned how to design different templates using Elementor Theme Builder. We designed header, footer, single page, single post, and blog page template using Elementor Theme Builder. Now in this video, we will learn how to design the error 404 page template using Elementor Theme Builder. Now what is the error 404 page? Now error 404 page will be shown when there is no page available on your website. The error 404 page is nothing but the broken link page on your website. Now let's take an example of this page on this website. This is the about us page and you will see the URL of this page here. Now if I try to change this URL and if I try to go to the page which is not available on this website then it will show the error 404 page of your website. So let's try to go to the page which is not available now here you will see the error message the page can't be found it looks like nothing was found at this location this is the default error 404 page layout on the website now this does not look good so we are going to create a new layout for the error 404 page using Elementor theme builder and we will also place some images and a button which will let the people go back to the home page of your website so let's start with the video do not forget to subscribe to quick tips youtube channel watch new videos about website design e-commerce websites search engine optimization social media marketing wordpress tutorials video editing tips and many more press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos i'm already logged into the dashboard of the wordpress website now let's go to the templates and then go to theme builder now here you will see the option error 404 click on it so right now we do not have any template for the error 404 page now click on add new now here you will see the pre-designed error 404 page templates if you want to use any one of them you can use using your pro account now let's see how does this look so this is the 404 page pre-designed template you will see the error message here as well as you will see a button to go back to the home page so let's close this one now we are going to create the template manually so let's click on the plus sign and select the single column section now let's make it full width no gap we are going to add an image here so click on the plus sign and get the image i already have one image so i'm going to upload that image let's make it full and under style the width will be 100 percent now let's see how does this look Okay, now below this image we are going to add a section so again select two column let's add some padding here the top padding and the bottom padding let's have heading let's say we are going to use this one So we are using the same error message however the layout will be different change the color the center align it now add text area add the content make it center align and change the color let's say dark blue now I'm going to change the size also now here we are going to add a button uh, you can add the link of the home page of your website let's say I'm going to add dynamic tab so I'm going to add dynamic link here so internal URL content 
and let's look for the home page oh. so whenever someone clicks on this button it will go to the home page of the website now let's align this to the vertical align change it to middle let's change the size to the say large if you want you can also add a search bar here so let's see for look for the search bar this is the search form and this form will be added here so if they are looking for any specific page they can search for the page and it will show the page now click on publish this is the 404 page so you need to select the 404 page condition Next, click on save and close all right now let's go back to the page which was not found which was giving the error so this was the broken link actually so let me refresh it now you will see the new page layout the error 404 page now let's try to click on the button and you can see that it went back to the home page okay here let me search for contact and it will show the search result contact right now there are many sections that you can add if you want you can add sliders or if you want to add a list of post the recent post you can add them here also so that people will be able to go to the blog post let me add some blog post here now this is the default layout let me have it as it is if you want to make changes to the style you can make changes let's click on update now let's refresh it now you will see the blog post are shown here all right so this one does look better than the default layout of the error 404 page on this website so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips